What's up guys, it's ZeroGrade13 of FDTD and this is FDTD Tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to turn a redstone torch off. Now, you pro everyone here should probably know what a redstone torch is. Basically it's a torch made out of redstone that sends out a redstone signal. So as you can see, I'm trapped in between these four iron doors and with a redstone torch, I can easily open them. And the redstone torch will send out a signal to activate other things like these pistons. See? Pretty useful. But, you might be thinking, that's pretty cool and everything, but what if I want the iron doors to say, close, and I want the pistons to, well, retract? Well, there are two ways to do it. One, simply get rid of the redstone torch. And you might think, okay, that's cool, but that means I would have to place it back again if I wanted it to open. So, that's not pretty good. Well, there's an easy way to fix that, and that's to turn a redstone torch off. Now, here we have two redstone torches, and as you can see, we have redstone wiring going from each redstone torch to a lever. Now, as you will notice on this one, this redstone wire is on, and when I, do the, when I pull the lever, it does not affect the redstone wiring. That's because the redstone torch is affecting the wiring. It's sending out a signal activating it, making the lever completely useless. Now, watch this. Boom. The redstone torch is off, and the wiring has a signal going out. That is because the redstone torch is one block higher than the wire. That's why the redstone torch is not activating the wire, making the lever be the activator of the wire. And that's basically how you turn the torch off, by sending a wire into the block that the redstone torch is placed on. So you might be thinking, okay, yeah, that's pretty cool, but what would I use that for? So let's, here's just a uh, pretty practical use. Now, here I have just a basic villager house, and look, there's a villager, but he's trapped on the outside. Let's let him in. And yeah, he can come in if he wants to. But I'm going to punch him instead. <laughs> but as you can probably see, well, that looks, well, kind of ugly just having this redstone wire out on the floor, plus people could break it easily. So, using the trick of turning a redstone torch off, hold on, let's come over here, you can open the doors without the wire being placed on the ground. See, door open, door closed. Now let's take a look at the wiring below. Just break these blocks to reveal the contraption. So as you can see, there's a redstone torch that's one block below, and then I have wiring going outside the house. So, by turning the, uh, by turning the signal off of the wiring, it turns the torch on below, which powers up the door, which means that you could still activate your contraptions, and you wouldn't have to put the wiring directly next to it, using this trick with redstone torches. So it just doesn't look as ugly and stuff. So, yeah, that's basically it. And, yeah, over here you can see, um, as you can see right here, with this iron door, the redstone torch trick works, but say if you have wiring down below, nothing happens. See? Wire off, wire on, door still closed. That's because wiring can't do the tricks that redstone torches can. Wiring has to be directly connected, like so. And same thing goes for piston, see? Piston working, piston not working, and piston working because of the redstone torch trick. So yeah, that's basically how you turn redstone torches on and off. You have to connect a wiring to the block right below the redstone torch. And then you, set, then you send a signal using, say, a lever. Sending a signal will turn it off, and getting rid of the signal, we'll turn it back on. And yeah, that's just a pretty helpful trick for all your redstone contraptions. If you want to make a custom map, it's pretty useful. And it can just help with just everyday stuff in Minecraft to make your things look nicer, not having all this wiring on the floor and out in the open. So yeah, if you like today's video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more of our stuff, be sure to subscribe. And um, leave a suggestion in the comments on what you want us to do next. And yeah, <laughs> thanks again for watching. Bye!